Hey guys, quick update. As usual, I got something to show you. So uh, today, I got something in the mail. So I wanted to show you what I got in the mail. Yeah, package. Obviously flipped over, you can't see my address. Don't want no stalkers coming around. But I thought we just unbox it together and let's get started. So, got a priority mailbox. I ordered this a couple days ago. I'm honestly surprised how fast it got here. So I wasn't planning to make this video that soon, but oh, package within a package. Smart boxing. There's my address on this. I don't want to show it. Nah, we're good. So I'm gonna have to cut that open too. Maybe I can just rip it. Nope. Let's split the difference. Nope, there we go. Why is it that unboxing videos never go smoothly? You got the people with one hand trying to do it while holding their camera. I got the webcam going on, so I thought two hands, I'm gonna nail this. But uh, as you saw, I had a few difficulties. Uh, but what I got. Oh shit, this is great. I got a Koro Sensei figure. Yeah, uh, let's uh, pan it down so you can kind of see what's going on here. So. I got a figure from Assassination Classroom. This is one of the main characters. It's the teacher of the classroom. His name's Koro Sensei, which means death. He's uh, basically an alien that they need to kill, like the, the students need to kill. So I uh, got this. There are a few different options at the store. They had different colors because he kind of changes colors when he changes attitudes. But this is his neutral state. Uh, I'm going to start opening this and talk a bit as I, as I open it. I'll let you guys watch. So the reason I got the Koro Sensei figure, one, great show, great anime. Uh, really feel like there's a lot of value in it and it looks great. But uh, another reason is that I really identify with this character. Oh my gosh, there's so much tape on this. Tape it up like my aunt, like Christmas packages. Ooh. But uh, I really identify with this character just because uh, I'm an educator as well. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm uh, a teacher or planning to be. I'm looking for jobs right now. But uh, really identify with this character and just the way he goes about his instruction is something that uh, I wish I could be. It's just like he's so tailored to his students. He tries to do one-on-one -on -one instruction and it's just something that uh, you can really appreciate. Even if you're not a teacher, you've had good teachers like this that take the time to talk personally with you. So. Uh, here we go. Got the figure. Okay, base. So he's an alien. He has multiple tentacles. So here we got his tentacle base. I'm just gonna cut this open. There's no like Ziploc to preserve these things. Oh. So I got a base. The base. Uh, you can't see it. it. This is what his face looks like. So the he's got a face base. It's got uh, tentacles going on. Let's see what else we got. Oh, is the rest just gonna come in as a block? Yeah, so let's work on that. In this uh, packaging, I'm just gonna chop the top off. There we go. Nice and smooth now, huh? All right, so we got Chorus and say himself, his figure. Uh, he's got an uh, eternal smile on. Always happy to see his students. <laughs> well, sometimes. And let's get these arms out of there. So he's kind of an octopus. He has uh, multiple tentacles. Let's see how many he's got on here. He's got uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. It's not like he's an exact octopus, they just kind of call him that sometimes. So, uh, looks like the feet go on here. 
there's no real order. Um, there's, there's not perfect symmetry, if you can see. Uh, there's not perfect symmetry with this, but I'm just going to pick a direction and see how it looks. Unless, oh yeah. So one of these uh, pegs is bigger than the other, so there is a definite way that it goes on. I didn't have to uh, just pick it out. So some things that you might know if you get figures regularly is that they're kind of construct on your own. They come in pieces and you have to put them together. But if you get some of the more intricate ones here, uh, if you notice, I have them in boxes right now because I'm probably moving out of this place uh, by the end of the summer to my new job. But uh, those require, like, they're a little spindly. They're on, like, one foot or something, especially the girls that have, like, certain poses. But this, this guy is solid. Oh, my gosh. He's just, like, this is full plastic. It's very heavy uh, in terms of a figure. I'd say it's about a pound, uh, like half a kilogram around there. So it's pretty weighty, I would say. So this is something that I would probably put on any kind of shelf. Like sometimes I don't like to put these ones, especially on these uh, wooden bookshelves. They're kind of shifty. They shift and move a lot uh, unless you like screw them to the wall like Ikea tells you to do, but no one does. So uh, looks pretty good. You need some arms. You need some arms, Cora Sensei. All right, so which arm's which? Are you identical? No, they're not identical. They're opposite, actually. Okay, one has like a little like notch and one has a, like a swoop. So these are different arms. Okay, this is the notch arm. Oh my goodness. These are like a bendy plastic. They're not uh, rigid as you might expect. It's kind of like a like a rubbery piece, PVC. So the, the body itself pretty solid but the arms they're like they're pretty bendy so if you can see I'm not gonna bend them too much because I kind of like them and you know I just got this I don't want to break it and then the last step obviously getting this on here but this is so solid I, I feel like confident like moving them around all the time usually with figures you have them up on the shelf and you don't touch them you touch them to like uh, dust them just make sure they're clean but otherwise they're just visual only but this guy I would not feel comfortable giving this a five-year-old but maybe an eight-year-old they I think they could handle this and rip. so uh, I like this figure overall impressions just from handling it from touching it I like it a lot okay this hole is a bit smaller I'm like trying to figure out which way obviously this would make sense because his face uh, is facing that way so or it's vertical so of course sensei figure this is great i'm really excited for this figure usually you get a lot of like cute girls and stuff but i like male figures like i like all figures just that represent the anime i like that's why i get figures i get them to show what anime i like try to kind of put some personality in my room and this definitely puts some personality in my room i'm thinking like would i put this in my desk when I when I'm a teacher and I can talk about like yeah this guy's a teacher too in an anime and I really respect him <laughs> probably not <laughs> at least not the first year <laughs> jeez but um I'm just gonna let you guys look at this uh so um pretty nice so he's quarter that's a quarter that's not a really good scale uh soda can can kind of get a sense for how big he is uh, versus soda can. So uh, pretty nice figure. I got him uh, not sponsored from because I'm just a nobody. There's like one person watching this. It's probably David. But uh, got it from uh, Crunchyroll and it's a pretty good price. 25 bucks. It's like uh, it might sound like a lot to some people but if you buy figures you know $25. This, this box is obvious like this is something that you might get in a crane game in, in Japan it's something that's uh, on the lower end but that this is like the quality this is a good figure for the price and it's uh, it's interesting because sometimes you get the uh, figures from anime with humans like there there are humans in this anime but that he's not human like he's not humanish 
no spoilers. <laughs> but uh, this is like, it's hard to make something that looks incorrect. If you got humans, like we're humans, it's really easy to tell when something's off, when facial proportions aren't correct or body proportions aren't correct. So this figure, it was probably impossible to mess up. So uh, I really like him. Yeah, Koro Sensei, 25 bucks, worth it, honestly. Like, uh, according to the box, there are four versions, if uh, you can see this. So there's the regular version that I got. There's a red angry guy, or he's, this isn't really angry. It's like his ticked offness. He's kind of ticked off. Three black. That's like, whoa, he's like actually mad. He's going to like kill someone. He's crazy. Uh, and then for the, pur the purple pink one, he's like in love or embarrassed or whatever. Like that's kind of his, his thing. He's wears his emotions on his sleeve physically so he changes colors and he has some colors that aren't shown here like they wouldn't make it into uh, a figure but one thing that you can't really see too well but uh, each figure has a different like face a different look to it so it's not just that they're recoloring the figure they're actually changing the face they're changing proportions a little stretching it around uh, especially if you look online I'll put a link in the description for where I got it from but um, this is a Koro Sensei figure. Really pleased with it, honestly. I'm pleased for two reasons. One, I ordered it and it's like, it connects with me so well. But then the other thing is just, this is a really nice figure for the price. Oh my God, I'm recommending this to everyone who's a fan of Assassination Class. And you're like, you can't go wrong with this guy. All right, well, uh, I've rambled on long enough. Uh, that was my quick update. Peace.